We'll start by looking at an overview of the GH4 itself. For the purposes of CMF, everything that we're going to cover is going to be based around filmmaking. This camera is great for taking stills, but all the settings recommendations and all of the functionality is gonna be based around its film mode. First off, this camera is very compact. This is for two reasons. It's a mirrorless camera, and it's also a micro four thirds camera. So first things first, let's turn the camera on. The on switch is located on the top of the camera next to the function dial. The function dial, for our purposes, needs to be in the filmmaking mode. So what you'll do is spin the dial until the M symbol with a camera logo next to it lines up with the arrow. If you wanna keep the dial from accidentally getting spun during transport, you can press down the button in the center and it will lock that function into place. Also on top of the camera, we have the white balance button, ISO button, a scroll wheel for shutter speed that can also navigate menus, and a shutter button that in film mode acts as a stop record. On the back of the camera, we have the articulating display screen, which shows image, as well as all the current settings of the camera. To the upper right of the screen, we have a focus selector. This has a couple different modes that you can choose from, but for film purposes, I always recommend being in manual focus. So that's the MF on the toggle. Directly next to that switch is another record button. For personal preference, I don't like to use this one. It's a little bit hard to get to, but keep in mind, the shutter button on the front is a little bit easy to bump, so keep an eye out to make sure you're not accidentally recording. In the right center of the camera back, we have a menu button that when pressed leads to a four-tiered menu system. These menus can be navigated using the rotating wheel that surrounds the menu button. Just above the menu button, we have a display button that toggles through various configurations of what settings and video assist features that you have displayed on your screen. To the top left of the camera is a green play button that will take you into playback, which you can then navigate using the menu wheel. Finally, there are five function buttons spread throughout the camera. These buttons can be mapped to various video assist features such as peaking or zebras. So that's the GH4 in a nutshell. Now let's go through how to adjust individual settings in the camera.